Hello, welcome to Nixie's Notebooks. I am your host, and today we are going to be working in our No So Spine Journal. You will make me, you will see me make hand gestures. Um, I knew I was uh, recording without a microphone because I had lost my microphone. So if I make a hand gesture and it doesn't make any sense, I think I cut most of them out. I was trying, to, I was thinking, you know what, I can, I can, you know, kind of show what I'm doing as well, and then I'll say, hey, this is what I'm doing, and I realize that I probably wouldn't be able to match them up. Point is, today we're going to be making a three-tiered pocket in our No So Spine Journal. Um, so as you can see here, um, I have the uh, paper on the back that's going to be sheet music type paper that's going to be like kind of the background or the backdrop of the pocket or the inside of the pocket. It's actually, we used it in another... Um, Another part in the front of the book too, so I thought it'd be kind of nice to add it in. I'm just coloring um, the paper. I really like these markers. They really saturate the paper, especially book pages. If you look to the left, that's left, right? Left? Yeah. The left of your screen. You'll see some other um, book pages that I've done that with um, as well, and it just kind of gives it a really rich color. I like the way it looks. So here I am coloring away and then I'm gonna rip the other two um, so if you are planning on doing this I would um, put your ruler down on the piece of paper you want to keep and then rip the piece of paper you want out of your book now the reason why I say that is um, because underneath the uh, underneath the the ruler will probably be more protected than the piece of paper you're trying to rip out I keep trying to do this, and I keep trying to do it that way, um, but realize I have to put the ruler down below. It was really awkward to try to rip this way, just as an FYI. And you can see I'm kind of struggling a little bit. did have to pull a lot of little pieces out there. I was um, a little bit worried about the um, spine. Oops, sorry. I just hit my phone while I was trying to record this. Um, I was a little worried about the spine. Um, but uh, the integrity of the spine because the pages are glued in. But I do kind of do something for that, which was another mistake I made. There was a couple I made, um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I had a great idea, I just didn't really think it out before I started, which um, is pretty much how I live my life. So um, I have great ideas and then I just start doing and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, that would have been so much easier, you know. Because that's just the way I work. So, um, you'll see me coloring the other two. I didn't, I didn't do the whole thing where I color everything or ink anything. I figured, um, you guys don't need to watch me color unless you really want to. If you want to, put something in the comments. I'll definitely sit here and color. Actually, I could probably color. That's the, what, AS, ASMR? The sounds of the paper and the coloring thing. Anyways, that's beside the point. So, excuse me. So, um, I swallowed funny. Whew. And I've already recorded this like three times now, so I am not recording again. <laughs> So, uh, here I am, obviously, doing some more coloring, um, and yeah, there's really not much to say about coloring. Nope, really not much at all. I tried to pick some colors that kind of matched each other, a little bit different. I am hoping that maybe by the end of this month, maybe, maybe, hopefully, we'll be done with this journal, um, and then I can move on. I have an idea for another journal, um, and another book I found, so not to get myself too ahead of a, not get myself too ahead of myself, not to get ahead of myself too much, whatever. Anyways, not to get ahead of myself, that's what I'm looking for. Um, obviously I will, um, hold off and wait until I'm ready to do that. And it'll be, um, I think I mentioned this in another video, it'll be like a little cookbook journal, cookbook journal. I 
And up, coming up, you're going to see where I make the mistake. This is one of the mistakes. So I, I was really concerned about the integrity of the spine because I am pulling out on the glued pages and all those pages are glued in. This is where I made the mistake. I didn't make the mistake by gluing the piece of paper in there. My mistake was, is I glued it down flat. Instead of holding the paper up like I'm doing there, vertically um, against the book and gluing the paper that way, um, it, uh, because I glued it flat, the book is kind of, it's glued that way. So the paper now wants to lay flat, if that makes sense. Um, it kind of binds a little bit when you go to move the paper. It's better if you pick up the page or the piece of paper that you want to glue and bring them together, like pick up the page and bring it to the center if you're going to glue towards the spine. That's something I, I think I've really learned about this. Best way to go. So, FYII. And I'm just doing a little decorating. I have a lot of scraps. I'm doing kind of, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my scraps this year. That's, that's my big push is to get rid of my scraps. I've got like so many bins of scraps and stickers and everything else. Anything I can use. Um, I've actually have a journal that I've made pretty much with all the scraps that I have. I didn't pull out any new pages. Um, I'm starting another journal. It, well, there's a little caveat with the, I didn't pull out any new pages. Um, I do, I, so I start, I, I'll, sometimes I'll start a journal and I'll pull out paper out of, um, some of my pads and stuff, you know, like the pretty, um, scrapbook paper or whatever, and I'll go and put it in there, and then as I start to make the book, I'll be like, I don't like that page anymore, I'm gonna take that out. So those I consider scrap too, because I don't want to go try to put them back in the books, because I have too many of those as well, so... Of course, I have way too many of those, and then what did I go do? I went and bought a whole bunch more at Joint Fabrics because I had a gift card. So. Oh, and Joanne Fabrics is not a sponsor. I just like shopping there and shopping at Michael's and shopping at Target and shopping at Walmart and shopping at Goodwill and shopping at all those other places. So um, that's the only reason why I mentioned it because I did have the gift card there. I hope it's not illegal for me to mention it. Maybe it is. I don't know. I always glue down my um, washi tape. Oh, the reason why I put the washi tape um, on the inside of the pocket was to kind of give the pocket a little more room. And then I figured, oh, you know what? I will fold over. I didn't do it yet. But I'll fold over the edges of the pocket that I'm gluing down. And that way, it will give me a little more room within the pocket. As you can see, I already did the fold there. And it really is a good idea to do because um, it will give you a little bit of space in the pocket and when you turn the pages, it won't bind as much. Um, however, dopey me, you'll see where I mess up. So because it's it, you're going to glue the edge down and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit folded and stuff, um, yeah, it'll give you a little space, but look what I do. Glue down the inside. I glue on the inside of that fold and basically glue the fold down to the piece of paper. So there's basically no give or anything with the pocket because I'm an idiot. So I feel like I should be going, no, but yeah, I did that. Actually, it's probably deeper now, huh? Like, no. But, yes. I did do it. I slowed it down for effect. Because, you know, I'm a great editing master. Actually, I slowed down a lot more and I had to go back. As I was recording it, I realized how slow it was and how long it went for. It's still going for too long as it is anyways. I was like, wow, you really need to cut some of that out. So there'll be some regular speed stuff coming up in a second. But, yeah. I glue it all down and then I fold it like an idiot. So, there's no give because it's now completely flat. I sped it up here. Maybe I didn't. I lied. 
I don't know. I don't know what I did here. Apparently I didn't speed it up at all. Apparently I just wanted you guys to watch me glue stick really slowly for a very long time. Editing is, n I'm not a great editor of, of film. Because I, I go back and I look at it and I'm like, huh. We'll just cut this, we'll cut this, we'll cut this. And an hour long video now goes down to about 10 minutes. And it's like, hmm. Yeah, I thought I sped this up. Apparently I don't know how to speed stuff up correctly again. That's okay. You can watch me um, glue stick this beautiful page down. So I did use glue stick. I like the way the glue works um, a little bit better, or the glue sticks hold a little bit better, and it doesn't really kind of warp the paper. It also makes it a little stiffer. Um, like when you use glue stick, like there's just not a lot of flexibility. Um, and as it as like if you were to use a PVA, my biggest problem with PVA is um, everything drives so quickly here. I'm in the desert. Um, you know, and everything just dries so fast, even the glue, um, you know, my ink pads dry out, everything just dries really fast. So I don't like to use it because the PVA glues, glues so, dries so fast that when I start to use it, you see the bumps and the ridges and you'll see that. Um, I used PVA glue on the back of this because, and I made like a little journaling space, which you'll see. Um, but I use the PVA glue because the page is already binding enough because of the, and what I mean by bind is like the pages aren't turning well, the pages want to move because they're not in a natural position, like when you turn the pages and stuff. So, um, the back, I wanted it to be able to be a little more flexible. So I did, uh, use the PVA glue, which I wasn't very happy with, but that's okay. I ended up, because I was having such a hard time with the pages turning, I ended up cutting a small notch. You can't see it. Um, and kind of pulling those two pieces and the two notches together just to give it a little more um, movement. I don't really know how to explain it better, but it's at the bottom. Um, and then I proceeded to hide it reciprocally. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, I mean, these are not huge pockets. You're not going to be able to put a whole bunch of stuff in here. I mean, like, you can probably put some couple pieces of notebook paper in there, unfortunately. I don't think next time I will do three in a row. I would probably maybe do two. And then I would probably fold over the bottoms and the, and the sides to give it more of a pocket feel and to allow for a little more give. Um... So here we're going to work on the back. Um, just have some lined paper here. Put that on there. I'm going to use the Walmart half construction, half cardstock paper, in my opinion. Just so you know, if you were to go buy it at Walmart, I mean, it's not bad paper. It's just, it's not... It's not what I would consider cardstock, and it's not what I'd consider construction paper. It's kind of a combination of both. Though the white in there is good cardstock. But I'm not saying the other stuff's bad, but it just kind of has that more construction paper feel. Like, um, I don't know. But it's great for ripping, and you'll see that in a minute. I actually do like to use it for that. Especially, like, um, putting down doilies and then ripping around the edges of the doilies. That stuff's awesome for that, so... And here I am gluing with the PVA glue. I probably should have glued the red paper and then put the white paper on top of it, but I didn't. And it probably would have worked a little bit better. Yep. 
ripped. So I'm going to just start ripping all around the edges just to give it some color so it stands out a little bit from the book page. There you go. I use the PVA glue again because there is backing on the other side. So if the glue does not necessarily show up or if the glue, if the glue bubbles a little bit, you're not going to really notice it. So, and then I use some more because the bottom had the uh, washi tape with writing on it. I just kind of pulled off a couple pieces and just kind of put it in there. So, and then I put it on top, just kind of give it a little different finish. So. I know you couldn't see. I apologize. I don't know how most YouTubers do it. Like, they get everything, like, right in their center. I've tried everything. I put down my little mat, and I'm still all over the place. I like to think I'm getting better. So, here it is. Here it, we are done. And I want to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.